Hey y'all, let's go, Bourbon Club. Alright. I'm trying to get ahead on things because it's a, been a crazy month, a crazy week. We're wrapping up National Bourbon Heritage Month. That being said, stay hydrated, my friends. I mean, I worked my ass off today. So I'm trying to get ahead of things. Anyways, so, yeah, day 29. Oh, dear Lord, one to go. So what are we doing tonight? One of my, uh, I guess I would say it, it's one of my sleeper distilleries. I'm not going to say it's my favorite, but I've liked about everything I've had from them. It, it, it's a rebrand, recognition, but Pete, the, all right, let's just get to it. The people of Peerless are doing great stuff. This is none other than your regular Peerless small batch Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. 108.1 proof. Oh, hell. I think there's some writing on here. Alright. With an unparalleled 100 year history, we preserve this quality surpassed by none. Peerless caliber standards set by ancestor Henry Craver. This rich and mellow small batch bourbon is distilled, bottled, and aged in Little Kentucky Bourbon District. It's damn good. All right. So, this is your regular peerless small batch. And if you go back and watch my other videos, I had an Alpine or a single barrel called Alpine Summer that would rock my world. Uh, I'm not Heather they're rye mainly because I'm not a rye guy I've heard good things about it this is great the I need to go pick up another single barrel I passed twice on whatever they their latest one they called was like uh, something sidecar like snicker sidecar or some kind of chocolate sidecar but the Alpine Summer is great. Go back and watch that video. But so is the Peerless. Now, I want to say when I first bought this, I think it was like around 90 bucks. Was it being a craft distillery? Well, a rebrand of a cat. I think it's like DSRP 10. So it's a rebranding. Uh, the people there are great, knowledgeable. And I hope they make it because they're making great stuff. All right. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. This is the uh, Peerless Small Batch. Is it Small Batch? I think that's what, Yeah, Small Batch Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Cheers, my friends. Mm. No, it's... Uh, I get that. I get sweetness on the front. Spice on the middle of back, a medium to long finish at what did I say, 104 or something proof? Uh, oh, 108.1 proof, but yeah, that, that it really does come off between 110 and 115. I don't even think I hit the nose yet. I'm trying to do some catch up videos so. Cheers. Now there's some rice spice on that. A little bit of pine, mint, caramel, vanilla, touch of chocolate. I mean, that's great. Cheers, bourbon request. Well, then we'll drink some water. I don't know. I'm rambling. Yeah, it's, uh, 
a little bit of fruit, orange, cherry, and then I get that vanilla caramel, decent hug, medium to long finish. Um, I, I, I've seen this all over the place between 70 and 90 bucks. I don't think it's worth 90. Um, I would say the most I would pay for it would be 80. Yeah, I'd pay 80 bucks for it. Would obviously much rather get it at 60 or 70, but $80 is fair. Uh, above that, I would say pass. But no, it's it's good. It's sweet. It doesn't say it on the bottle, but for whatever reason, I I get like that it's a sweet mash bill. I don't think it says that on it though. Like wilderness trail is a sweet mash bill. I I don't think it actually is, although it comes off as it. For whatever that means but I don't know how in tune you are into things but something sometimes people think uh, that sour mash is a bad thing it's actually a good thing because what they're doing is they're taking that sour mash and blending it into their new you know mash bill whatever to create consistency which is good but at the same time it's like how you're able to get a, uh, variances on a single barrel whether it be you could have a single barrel Eagle Rare against another single barrel Eagle Rare and they're going to be different because yeah it's a single barrel it's unique and the thing about, while most brands and products will use a sour mash because their 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 objective is to create consistency, whether it be Wild Turkey, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, they're they're, they're typically going to use a sour mash. So they're taking a a portion of the previous mash into their fermented next mash bill to create consistency which I get but I, I, I like it it's like if you like the variances of a, a single barrel then you're going to like the variances of a sweet mash because they're not bringing any old shit in they're using a sweet mash based upon the corn at Kentucken Farms or whatever farms they produce their corn from. And yeah, I, I, it doesn't say it on this bottle, but I, I it feels like a sweet mash to me versus a sour mash. Tell me I'm wrong. Leave a comment. We're getting fucked up. Oh, that's so good. But before we get too into this, and I lose all my ambitions and senses, let me know what you think about Peerless. I love them. Uh, I think they're great. Um, if you haven't done so, smash that subscribe button. We're ramping them up. We're trying to get monetized and. If you hit that subscribe button, it does the channel and me a favor, and I appreciate it. And then you want to do yourself a favor, because in the next week, well, I picked him up today. Um, I put a carrot out there. When we got to 500 subscribers, we would get a, uh, uh, an official mascot here on the channel. Uh, a big fat bourbon drinking cat <laughs> and so I met 
I met Tiny yesterday. Well, he's no longer Tiny. He's now Q. So the mascot's gonna be Q. Um. Yeah, I picked him. Well, I I I don't know if it when this video it. Q will be on before this video. Nonetheless, we pick Q up, and he's like 13.7 pounds, big fat cat, which I like, and um, no, I went, I went and met him on Friday, and they told me, you know, I could pick him up on Monday, because he had to go through his uh, medical evaluations, but then on my, on my way to work uh, Friday, they called me and like, you can go, we were able to get his medical evaluation, then you can go and pick him up while I'm on my way to work. Um, I can pick him up tomorrow instead of Monday, which was the original plan, which is cool. So yeah, I went and picked him up. He's still scared and skittish. And hopefully he'll warm up a little bit because when I went and first met him, as you saw in the video, uh, I think he's camera friendly, not camera shy. Um, probably just been through a lot over the last 12 months. And, uh, but no. He's going to be a future star here on Bourbon Quest. But this Peerless is good. Uh, yeah. Wrap it up, dumbass. Alright. We're going to call it tonight. Ooh. A little water after that. That's good. Remember, stay hydrated, uh, subscribe, does the channel favor, then ring that bell for notifications, that does you a favor, so that you don't miss a damn thing here on Bourbon Quest, because uh, we picked up Q, he'll be making an appearance here on Bourbon Quest in, in the very near future, so you don't want to miss that. He's a good guy. He, he's really fat. He's like a little over a year old and 13.7 pounds. But, you know, he came from a bad environment. So he's still a little bit skittish. But I think we're going to make a star out of him. He's going to be the quest or the uh, mascot here on Burger Quest. His name is Q. You should meet him in the next week. Yeah, in the next week for sure. Alright, we're going to wrap this up because, yeah, you know why. Anyways, before I say bye-bye, before that, I want to say that all my wishes for you is that all your bourbon quest wishes come true. That sounded dumb, but it's true. Alright, we gotta wrap it up. We're gonna at least have one more pour. See if we can get a little bit more uh, advocated to Q because yeah, he's been through a lot and a little bit skittish. But I think he's gonna be a star on the channel in the near future. Alright, bye bye. bye. Hey! May all your bourbon quest dreams come true. That's a wrap, y'all. That shit's good. Q, where you at, bro? Uh, he's still hiding. Alright, see you tomorrow.